Zippity doo dah, beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. As you can see behind me, I'm hanging out at the Collins uh, Resort here in Miami, Florida. Okay, so what we're going to do throughout this video series again is again that we're going to look at the results of $1.5 billion in research that uses you your tax dollars to help the U.S. government to help finance of what all the world's most successful people and companies have in common. Now let's look at this first principle. And this first principle comes from Dun & Bradstreet. And Dun & Bradstreet says that 90% of business failure is due to a business is not advertised. So if we advertise, we're going to lower our chances of, of, of being unsuccessful or failing in other words. Now a lot of times businesses look at advertising as just getting our message out there. You know, broadcasting our message. And advertising really has a bigger scale than that. And uh, the reason for that is when people, when businesses spend money in advertising, they only look at it from a traffic perspective. When you're going to advertise, there's only the traffic perspective. Well, in actuality, traffic is free. Uh, you know, you can walk down the streets and uh, there's, there's plenty of, of traffic. The, the, the challenge is, is getting a message out there that is powerful enough, that is influential enough to motivate people to respond to it. But what I'm going to do in this video here is I'm going to take you to, uh, I'm going to show you a, a video that I did a couple of years ago. And this was when I was still living in Los Angeles, California. It was on uh, uh, Santa Monica Beach. And uh, it, it's kind of, it's a, it's a fun video. Uh, I, I'm writing some things that would normally be done on a blackboard and instead of a blackboard or a, or a, or a whiteboard or anything like that, we're writing it in the sand. So I'm going to show you what, uh, what I'm going to show you here is how we were able to generate 141 sales in about a period of about six hours, all completely 100% from free advertising. So let's go ahead and get to that. Hey everybody, this is Chris Brown again. I'm coming to you from Santa Monica, California. Now in today's video, what we're going to do is we're going to reveal the secrets of how to generate over 250,000 referrals in a period of six hours and how I was able to do that and how you can do the same thing. Now in order to generate a lot of sales very, very quickly, there's only about two ways to do this. First of all, you got to have a lot of money, whether it's your own personal money, whether you got a business loan, whether it was done through venture capitalists. Needless to say, you need to have a whole lot of money that you can invest into advertising that will then generate a whole bunch of customers. Or you can use the strategy that I'm going to talk about today that requires little or no money at all on your part. Now one of the reasons I came to the beach today is so I could draw you some pictures in the sand so you'll be able to get this, get the visual picture of all of this. Now first of all, you got company A, and this is company A. Let's look at that, company A. And then over here, we're going to draw company B. That B is kind of messed up, but... Company A and Company B. Looks a little clearer on camera than it does in uh, real life. <laughs> okay, so we got Company A and Company B. Now the way that this works, now let's say that Company A is a brand new company and I'm going to explain it in the way that I did this. So Company A is me, so I'm going to put my name down here, Chris. So we got company A, which is Chris, and over here we got company B, which is Joel. Yeah, okay, company B is Joel. Now company A, me, I was a brand new business, had no customers at all. Um, I already had an already established business, but what I did it was a total, in a totally different genre, totally different market so uh, most of my customers would not join the become customers of this new company so I was it was a brand new health and fitness business and what I did is I went over to Joel who had 250,000 leads at that time 250,000 established customers so I made a one-hour phone call from me to Joel and we arranged a deal where Joel then would refer all of his 250,000 customers to me. 
and that generated and now I'm not sure if he he, he referred all of his 250,000 or how many of those that he really did refer to, to me but what he did is he sent out a massive email blast to to at least a percentage of his leads and prospects and that turned into I had two products uh, first product did 87 hundred dollars it's not a very clear eight eighty seven hundred dollars in sales and that was first company or first product and the next product did fifty four hundred each sale was worth about a uh, hundred bucks a piece so the first product we did 87 sales the next product we did uh, 54 sales of that product and that was only in a period of about six hours so on saturday i i launched let's say invested in a new product it was on an already established product but i paid the investment of what i had to do in order to get started and to sell that product I then, this is on Saturday, keep in mind this is Saturday uh, about let's say 6 o'clock in the evening. I called, had a, a phone conversation with Joel where he then sent out an email blast to all of his, or at least a percentage of his 250, we won't put the whole 250 thousand we'll just put 250k so Joel then re referred a percentage of his 250,000 customers to my business which is company a which generated 87 sales of the first product and then 54 of the other product or $5,400 of the second product in only a period of about six hours so I had this phone call conversation with Joel on Saturday Sunday, he's about sometime in the morning, uh, he sent out a, a email blast to all of his leads and prospects, or again, at least a percentage of it. And then by 6 o'clock that evening, and uh, he, I would say he launched that or sent that out about noon. So by 6 o'clock that evening, I had the $8,700 in sales in the first product and $5,400 in the second product. Now what I also had to do is company A which is me I then had to go ahead and pay a finders fee or a referral fee to Joel and he got paid a percentage of the sales that I generated now there's two ways that you can do this now if I would have had a, a, a lot of customers already what I would have done there would have been no money exchange I would have just taken my customers and referred it to Joel Joel then would have referred his customers to me and then there would have been a mutual agreement usually that that the technical term of that strategy is called an ad swap now that might sound impressive but I'm gonna share with you another story and we're gonna look at company a again and company a is Frank Kern and John Reese. I'm just going to put their first names there. Uh, looks a little bit messed up, but Frank Frank Kern and John Reese, and they establish relationships with multiple Company B. So it was not just Company B, Company B say company C company D and multiple relationships we'll just leave it at that they then negotiated a deal where all of these companies would then refer their customers back to their business which is company A and within a 24 hour period now hear me this <laughs> within a 24 hour period it was a thousand dollar product sent out by emails 
and this was all done by emails and in a in, in a thousand dollar product and within a 24 hour period that generated into over a million dollars in sales this was the first time in internet marketing that that type of record had been set it's been broken many times since then through people in small medium sized businesses home based businesses and they generated a million dollars within a 24 hour period using this strategy now this big M is supposed to represent the golden arches of uh, McDonald's now McDonald's uses this strategy too so if you notice the advertisements that are placed on their uh, the packaging of different products they especially do this hit this really hard when they do the Monopoly games okay so this N is stands for Nintendo so Nintendo PlayStation stuff like that so during the Monopoly games what McDonald's does is they are doing using this strategy again and they're referring their customers to Nintendo now there's a uh, in California here there is a grocery store named Vons so Vons and that's there's Vons and what they will do is they sell the for California residents they sell the uh, Disney park hoppers Disney tickets at a discounted rate so what Vons is now doing is they are referring their customers to Disney. Vons refers their customers to Disney. Now, probably, I'm not sure the type of arrangement that they have set up. If uh, Disney is then referring some of their customers back to Vons, or if they are just paying them some sort of a commission. And I'm not sure how McDonald's works out there deal as well. Uh, I haven't gone that far. They don't reveal that stuff. But what they do reveal, just by the way that they're operating their business and the stuff that we can tell as individuals, we know that McDonald's is referring their customers over to Nintendo and some of the other uh, companies that are in the uh, Monopoly games and on the packaging of, of McDonald's products mostly in the, on the on the bags and on the cups but these are all ways that they're using this type of strategies to generate tons of referrals now you can do the same thing now I've kind of just lightly gone over this uh, just more or less explain the strategy so when Toy Story got released uh, the la last Toy Story Sto Toy Story 3 they had some TV commercials joint ventures uh, some business relationships with Walmart so in the same commercial they were advertising both Disney Disney's Toy Story plus Walmart in the same commercial I think they did the same thing with one of the credit card companies I can't remember if it was American Express or which which company it is I'm gonna try to find those on YouTube's and I'll try to make some links in this video or put it off to the side I'll put it here someplace on this video uh, or on this page of this web page that way you can find those links and see what I'm uh, more or less talking about but like I said I'm just kind of revealing the basics of this secret there's a couple things that you have to do first of all step number one is you have to identify what type of customers or what type of businesses that you would like to establish relationships like this uh, for me let's say in ProStar profits my business it deals with usually business owners that's kind of like my what I really focus on uh, providing products and services for other business owners but I have to be careful that the type of businesses that I would establish relationships that my service my products and services would not be in competition with them so for me a great partner a great business partner in this type of uh, of the word this isn't long-term business partnerships but this is just more or less a contractual agreement that both company A and company B are gonna refer each other's customers or figure out what type of deal that we're gonna do but and not my type of business I might deal with a insurance company a commercial insurance agency that uh, because my the type of we both have the same type of customer but we are not in competition with each other I might go to a bookkeeper again we might have the same type of customer but we're not in competition with each other 
So the first thing that you're going to need to identify is what type of business owners would you like to build a business relationship? That's the first thing. So that's step number one. Step number two is to negotiate the deal. So whether you're going to send out some marketing materials, uh, preferably what I like to do is I like to actually walk into their place of business and meet them or call them over the phone. Those are the those are the strategies that I like to use, and uh, in our in our uh, program, the unfair advantage marketing program, how to never pay out of pocket for your advertising ever again. I do provide you with the phone scripts that I use, the same type of phone scripts that I use, and a lot of other successful businesses use when we try to make up these type of deals. Now, after you do that, after there's an agreement that has been made, then contracts have to be signed. Uh, that their company A is going to do their part and company B is going to do their part. Whether there's a whether company A and company B have an established group of customers, and we're just going to do an ad swap and refer each other's customers to each other's businesses, or one of these businesses is going to refer their customers to one of the businesses, company A or company B, and then like what like what I did with Joel. So with in the case with Joel, Joel referred me all of his uh, uh, at least a lot of his customers uh, out of the 250,000. He referred referred me a lot on um, that generated into $8,700 in sales in the first product and $5,400 in sales in the second product. Then what I did is I then paid him a referral fee for all the referrals. So basically like an affiliate program, a commission check. And then those contracts have to be signed. So there's only one, two, three. Uh, well, four, actually. First of all, you need to figure out what type of businesses that you need to do. Uh, you know, what type of businesses would would fit your market, the, the proper relationships. That way you're not in competition with each other. That's step number one. Step number two is to call them and negotiate the deal. Step number three is to have the contract signed. And step number four is to actually implement the deal. But I do hope this information was helpful. Again, on the right-hand side of this video, you're going to find our program, the Unfair Advantage Marketing Program, uh, How to Never Pay Out of Pocket for Your Advertising Ever Again, which will show you and provide you with all the tools that you'll need in order to set this type of a system up. But uh, as I just mentioned, I hope this information was helpful. Take care, everyone. Have a great day, and we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye now. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris Brown here again. I hope you found that information helpful. Hope it was valuable. I had a blast filming it. I also had a blast hanging out here in uh, Miami, Florida for you here today. But uh, take care everyone. Have a great day. And you'll find all the resources and everything that we talked about on the side of this video. Bye bye now.